Uh, today we have little by little and we will be understanding the future of baby care and how does baby care look at uh, look like at Miola. So um, to begin with, Andrea Mittal and I am the content marketing manager at Miola. For those of you joining right now, uh, let me introduce the series once again. This series is called Spotlight Series um, and today we will be talking to the founder of Little by Little. So this is going to be a very interesting series because this is the first time we've had a baby product, uh, you know, co-founder or founder come on our channel. So for those of you watching, hi. Um, I'm just gonna wave to you all. How are you all doing today? So little by little has joined. I'm just gonna bring them up right now. Just waiting for them to join. Give me a second. Hi, hi, Akshita. How's it going? Yeah, good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm really excited to speak to you about baby care and like understand a little bit about yourself and of course enlighten all of our viewers right now on how baby care looks like at Miola and Little by Little. So really interesting. Absolutely. I'm yeah, so, here as well. Uh, yeah. Do you want to introduce yourself and uh, talk a little bit about your background and how do you land up in the world of baby care? Like, that, is that where you started from? Or this is something that you just loved and like dive right into it? Um, so hi, everybody. My name is Dr. Tayar. And uh, I run a baby business called uh, by Little. Uh, I've studied business management and I've done graphic design. So uh, I've always been inclined towards uh, joining something, doing something for kids. Um, because it, you know, it has a lot of designs and colors uh, that you can play around with. And of course, uh, I mean, I have cute prints and not monotonous. So um, uh, everything is done, of course, with keeping, you know, uh, their comfort and gentle skin in mind. Um, also, there has been a, a bridge to build between the gap and lack of uh, baby nursery linens in the market uh, of good quality and of good print. Um, over the past few years, the uh, baby nursery linen market has really become big. Yeah. And um, you know the demand. Uh, the demand has become uh, so much, and you know there's a constant change in the demand, the designs, and the styles, the prints, the colors, which uh, I personally find very exciting. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much how I started getting into uh, you know uh, interested in the world of babies and into baby care. That sounds amazing. I think. Quality is one of your main, like, you know, um, I would say target points. Like, you you do not compromise on the quality, which is amazing. Yeah, and is there anything else that your brand stands for? Like, if I were to say little by little has one brand philosophy. So, what is that brand philosophy that you stick by? Uh, so, um, you know, I've seen uh, a lot of parents buying uh, linens, the baby linens from uh, mm -hmm. international brands because of either quality, the trust that they have in the brand, uh, or because it's simply not in the Indian market. So uh, we want to cater to all those, my brand wants to cater to all those needs and all, to all those people by providing them everything right here, yeah. uh, to also uh, the ones who don't have the means and the sources to buy international products. Also, um, it's, it's a great feeling to be supporting Indian uh, designers and makers. Definitely, yeah. Um, yeah, we also uh, take utmost, uh, utmost, utmost care in providing really good quality things and uh, nursery essentials to like little ones. Um, also, uh, we really want to do right by the environment, which in today's world has become really important as possible because there's a lot of alternatives which are available which can be true yeah uh, i agree uh, and like um i think that's one of the far like far points i would say uh that connects you to miola that was about to be my next question like why did you choose miola as a channel to sell so uh could you elaborate a bit on that uh I tell you your bl platform is really beautiful first pretty chic and uh, you all have uh, carefully picked 
the brand that you all uh, want to you know on board with uh your team has been absolutely helpful and they're always available with any problems any solutions to give out uh the rate at which meola is growing is quite credible to be honest um the data that you all put out on social media uh, is visible to like millions and i feel appropriateness of uh, you know the content that you all put is quite amazing um also uh, just overall the mindset of and the thought process of what uh, your portal stands for and what my brand was created for totally matched for me for me to become like a part of your family oh that is so sweet i mean uh, i first of all thank you for saying that and i think another great collaboration why i think we chose you you know to uh, sell on our platform as well is mainly because you mentioned that you know you are getting everything done in india and meola does stand for you know supporting the local weavers and like making sure that there is no exploitation of labor that's happening when the products are being produced so um yeah i would kudos to you for doing that and kudos to meola for providing you a platform to sell i think that is an incredible collaboration that's happened so now that we've been talking about how good quality little by little products are do you want to talk about what kind of products do you like you know what kind of materials um you know you use for your products and where do you source from them from yeah so um the kind of materials that have become of key importance uh for both babies and the environment so um we are doing our best in being a planet conscious brand uh we don't use any plastics in our packaging uh we are also using uh, 100% uh, organic cotton uh, to make our product and we use azo free dyes to do a printing bit of it uh, azo free basically uh, is a ink which is not harmful it does not have like harmful or toxic chemicals so uh, sensitive skin baby skin is you know they can easily adapt and use our products um it azo free also helps us in participating in these environmental friendly activities um yeah so uh, like you know uh, our products uh, all this just makes our products much safer for the children to be using in general and also help protecting the environment for the future generations Yeah I mean that's that's a really good point right because um lately I'm Gen Z and I'm sure there are young millennials who are watching as well so lately like there have been studies that are conducted and turns out that a lot of products that I was using as a child I don't want to name the brands but there were a lot of products that you know I was using as a kid and a lot of us grew up using are actually not good uh for the body and they actually cause a lot of endocrine issues and such so yeah it is sad that- time for step about this but uh, day by day everybody comes to aware about the things are absolutely amazing exactly and like you know the ink thing that you mentioned i remember uh when i was a kid i had this blanket and then you know of course as a baby you put anything and everything in your mouth and i did that i used to like put that blanket in my mouth and turns out i like i was covered in rashes my mom tells me the story all the time and then since then she has been so careful in choosing the blankets that she chose for me and you know the material of blanket that she chose for me and that was like way back when she did not have that many options so i'm sure the young mom watching right now are so glad that they finally have a platform to go to the, where they can buy products which they know are not going to be harmful for the baby and of course little by little um is doing you know their research uh, and making sure the products that are delivered to young moms are you know like they're not going to like uh cause any harm to them so kudos for that Yeah, do you want to add on to um anything there? Um so um as um as a brand, yeah, we're definitely to more sustainable products and more eco-friendly products because that's where um you know, uh, if you would uh, talk about like uh, a customer trend, then uh yeah. this is what uh, this is what I feel like uh, people are you know forward towards now uh also uh, because there are so many options available in the market now it uh, it's really uh, simple to switch 
to something that is more sustainable uh also um everybody uh, i think out there looking for um value for the money spent and of course best utility for their product and for the product being of good quality because uh, especially because it's for kids uh so uh, little by little does all their research in terms to cater to all these needs to provide all the moms and the parents so that uh, they don't have to care about like you know basic thing like a baby nursing essentials um also people are becoming really aware of the environment what's going on so um so little by little is doing its bit in the organic cotton not using plastic and uh, i think like we as the citizens and the future of the country uh, we need to be responsible and do our bit in contributing to the environment uh which is going to be absolutely necessary for our generation and the future generations to come in i completely agree and using products that are made in our country like and using like and supporting local beaver chef because this is the third or the fourth episode that we're doing here right and most of the founders that we have right now have had one mission is to empower either women um weavers or like mm-hmm. taking material which is not using a lot of you know water to produce it or like you know exactly. yeah exactly so i think organic cotton is definitely a good place to start and um yeah so do you want to talk a little bit uh, lesser oh, of ahead. chemicals lesser of pesticides so just overall um overall you know uh, it just makes you really conscious about uh, what you're using now so uh, because we are uh, not using and we are using organic cotton which has become really popular now uh, mothers are not scared to buy material uh, for you know because a baby is so gentle yeah so uh, yeah so they 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 are really comfortable using the products I completely agree and I think when we go back in time I'm sure our grandparents and like you know generations before them did use 100% organic cotton to make their products as well so I think we're just going back in time going back to how nature wanted it to be and I'm glad that um you know we have a platform that's providing us with that uh so moving on I think if you are looking to gift like you know for gift ideas for raksha bandhan or if you have like a baby just born in your house we have amazing baby collection at neola that you really have to like definitely have to check out we do have some interesting discounts on baby products happening as well so feel free to go to our website neola.com and check out the baby products we have some really cute ties that you can uh, toys as well that you can gift to your nieces nephews or your babies as well um so akshita before we end the session i just have a one quick question for you who are your target audience because i am c- conducting this research on our live i'm trying to understand if gen z's and millennials are actually purchasing sustainable and giving the shopping a purpose product so what do you think your main target audience are is it gen z young millennials or have you seen like boomers purchasing your products as well uh are going to because uh it moves to the different uh which my provide uh also um i mean it's going to be uh two forms um you know just in uh, just um the, you know a uh, new parents um and uh, uh these are really good for be our gifts gifting idea and um uh, i mean uh, these these are products i mean to have you have a child born every night and so i am getting to just uh, buy these products and have it out there because uh, the usability the um, the sustainability everything is great so um it it is quite a large audience uh, to target because you have uh, you have so many grandparents also who have the daughter in laws um, you know who are pregnant and they they going to have a baby so i mean uh, overall it's a huge market uh, to talk ah oh, that's true well this was all that we had for the wondrous world of baby care and thank you so much for being here akshita and the best part about the series is you know whenever i talk to any of the founders they have such crazy stories on how they started the business so i literally like 
most of them are engineers and then they're like well i like uh athleisure so i started with athleisure brand i liked uh fashion so i studied fashion and left engineering and did something else so your story has been amazing as well thank you so much for being here and guys we are going live again on this wednesday 5 pm if you think watches have been around for a while we have a brand who has redefined watches we're going live with elfin watches on wednesday and trust me that's the session you do not want to miss because it is going to be super interesting and i will see you all there thank you so much for being here today bye bye happy shopping bye bye